Folks, welcome back to another... Wait, sorry, what? Uh, apparently there's breaking news. The uh, the market is in panic mode. And apparently the single card prices are dropping. So we know who is winning the war of the sealed box versus the single cards. And patron Edward says, Rudy, I picked the most damaged one. Look, I even hit them with a box cutter. The most damaged collector boxes to open to get the internet the most triggered possible. Edward, good luck. Welcome to the, oh yeah, that's right, they're double box. Welcome to the Ultimate Thunderdome. As always, we're going to go ahead and prep these things up first. We're going to get all the packs out for our eight boxes. And while I do this, I'm going to go ahead and discuss what I see going on. And in my personal opinion, it's very simple. It shows how new the market is just filled with noobs. That was an awful sentence. Oh my goodness. It shows how lack of experience and how many people haven't been in the industry for a long time right now. That's really what it tells me. I mean, the amount of messages in people, in videos on YouTube, in comments about single cards are tanking to nothing, double masters has collapsed. And you know, I'm sitting over here telling you guys, I, I just feel like the problem a lot of times with these things is I don't think the public fully understands enough about how stores are barely in business and how the management and the cost to, to operate and the expenses of these new expensive Wizards of the Coast products are just so difficult to pay for and manage. And remember, folks, when these stores get these, a lot of stores, when the product's actually decent, <laughs> they're not selling the sealed boxes like I do. That All they do, there are stores out there that would get, you know, 120 collector boxes, and they're just going to crack all the packs and sell singles because they're spreading out the risk versus one person hosing them or doing anything bad. And they'll make more of a margin carrying inventory. And they'll be left with a ton of double masters cards long term that are considered bulk today. They'll be worth money later. There's a lot in two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, there's a lot of things like that. And the problem is, people are surprised that we have the prices of the single cards going down. And I don't really understand. Like, this is normal. Every master set goes through the same thing. Folks, we're ready. Edward, good luck. And um, I don't even know if you need luck. So apparently it does appear that uh, a lot of other stores and YouTubers have confirmed that it looks like you're getting one um, actual textured card per case. Beautiful Miss Eternal Witness. Gift Sun Given coming in hot. Ooh, Alter. Alt oh my god, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Is that a texture? <laughs> oh my god. All right, Gift Sun Given. Alter, a pithing needle. Flippin' te textured Ulamog, pack one. Pack one textured Ulamog for Edward. Holy. <laughs> I was just gonna end the video. I told you, you pick the damage boxes that Rudy fondled, and you're like, guaranteed better pull. It's the weirdest phenomenon ever. Nah, it's like a, it's like a meme in all LGS. As everybody knows, you always pick the box with the damage, and the odds are always better. It's hilarious. All right, here we go. Ooze coming in hot. Dusk Rose from Mythic. Hellkite and gorgeous full Monty surgical extraction. Well, pack, box number one here. First four packs are um, coming out pretty smoking hot here. So, anyways, I just wanted to kind of lay that out there for everybody. Is I don't know why people are so blown away that prices are stabilizing. I told everybody in the first box opening we did a couple days ago. Either a these have to drop substantially, or b these have to drop substantially. Well, guess who won the war? The single cards are dropping, and these are not. There's your answer. Oh, Emrakul. <laughs> Siege Tower. In anger of the gods, the full Monty. I have not seen that. Whoa, look at that middle line. That's pretty wild looking. I have not seen that particular artwork on that full art. So, end of box one here. Here we go, folks. And what a start. Again, when see, when these stores, these mass box openings, instead of selling sealed, I used to do this back in the day with uh, Eternal Masters and uh, Modern Masters 2015. Uh, I crack almost all of mine. And what happens is you get left with piles of all these common uncommons over here that nobody wants right now, but become really valuable later on. And um, same thing, like these wall loam. Like if you're a store right now, all these things that are being fire sold, Inquisition of Cosmolex, Burning Trees, Wall of Omens, Inquisition Foil, another Burning Tree, Duplication. These are the cards you should be sitting on. Oh, beautiful Miss Unicorn. Supreme Verdict, enough to irritate your friends. Ooh. Necrotic Ooze, and Hardened Scales. So there's the end of box one. Well, 
Congratulations on the profit on that one, Edward. Even into the uh, lowered prices. See, look, lightning bolt, unearth. Got the terminate, rant. See these, all these cards. You should be, you should not be dumping these things for pennies. Uh, Liege, anger of the gods, non foil. Dax duplicate, and Mr. T's protection. All right, so more of a more of a calmer pack there. So does everybody still think this is better or worse than Double Masters one? <coughs> All right, Basilia, Thought Scour, Wall of Omens, Sun Speaker for the first row, Surgical Extraction. Wow, a lot of Surgical Extractions. Nice! Double D Dragon Lord. Very nice in the etch. Anger of the Gods again? It's a strange box, too, here. That's duplication in that slot in two packs. That's another Path to Exile. Seeker of the Way, Blood Braid, Spell Pierce, Chamber. Here we go, Diva coming in hot. Crucible Awards coming in spicy. Ooh. Oh, Hydroid Crisis? We have the Jellyfish, Hydra, Beast, Ooze, Crazy Man from uh, Ravnica? I didn't even know this was reprinted in this set. And the Giant Smothering Titties coming in good. Full mod. God, look at the rings on that hand. They just pop, man. Whew, that is a, a good-looking card. All right, folks. Here we go. End the box, too. Here we go. Boiler Works, Seeker, Swift Sphere, and Alicia smiling at your face. Privileged Position. And, oh, very nice. Alter coming in the etched. And another surgical... Wow, what a weird opening. That's our... So we've had two Anger of the Gods, two surgicals. Boy, duplication. Here we get strange duplication video today, everybody. Okay. Burning Tree. Spell Pierce. Another Burning Tree. Aqueduct. Mr. Dragon. Double Ds again. And, hey! Shepard, Jurassic Park, number 69. Rudy coming in hot. And Conqueror's Flail. Ooh, that's a nice season. Pyro. Look at that. I have not seen that in foil. That's beautiful. And uh, the Flail. I haven't seen you either in Esh. <coughs> All right. Coming in here. Let's keep going here, everybody. We got the old Unearth Rooney. Another beautiful, blessed Eternal Witness. Growth. The old Mole Man. Sphinx. All right. What do we got? Assassin's Trophy. Always nice to see. Room of Hidden Realm. I, I don't... That was a thing at one point. And Dr. Mime coming in as the ooze-looking dragon. All right, here we go. All right, folks, we are... What are we at? Four, so we're at number... Okay, so we're halfway through number three right now. Again, Monastery, Surreals, Experiment 1. Anybody back in the day of the Gate Crash era? Young Pyro back in the day of M12. It's a lot of good older cards that are going to do well. Inquisition, Sanctuary. All right, folks, here we go. Ready? All right, Cat Dragon. Eh, Oracle of Mool. Something, something. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. And Harvester for a nice dragon coming in. And a double D's again. Very nice. God, that Richard Kane artwork is wild, man. Holy smokes, that's wild. I know, everyone's just saying in the comments. So why didn't Wizards put a couple of these in Boulder's Gate? Because they don't like you. Okay. Spell Pierce. See all these cheap cards. These are the ones, man. Legion's Initiative. Glimpse the Unthinkable. Look at that. Spicy artwork. Assassin's Trophy in the Etched and a Full Monty Gifts Ungiven. God, the cards look so good. All right, moving forward. Uh, where are we at? Box number... Box number four. Almost halfway through the video. Look at this. Breakthrough. Great Conspiracy reprint. Swiss Sphere. Great card. Unearth. Terminate. Growth. Basilia. Grand Amateur of the Rudy's August 4th birthday. Young... Season Pyro with the Mythic. Yeah. Oh, God. What was English I'm making from? I don't remember what that was from. Ooh. Thousand Year Storm. Have not seen that. Ooh, that spops. I have not seen that artwork yet. But that is not really the card we want in the main hit slot. All right. So we got a couple little weaker packs here, folks. We are not home running it right now. Edward, you were getting uh, plowed in the face by Chuck Norris in this last few packs. We start off really hot. Divine Visitation. Forbidden Orchard. Legion's Initiative again, and another Forbidden Orchard. Wow, weird pulls. Holy smokes. Very, very strange pulls. Okay, Seeker. Boros. Spell Peter's face, flickering in your face. Ah, uh, Dr. J's Ascendancy, the old Khan's era. Another Thousand Year Storm. Emrakul in the Etched Mythic. Now that's a nice hit. Okay. And look at that. And a gorgeous Shepherd. That is the full Monty Foil Borderless Showcase Ultimate Masters Box Topper Extended uh, Drive-Through Coupon Code. Great hit there. 
All right, so officially halfway through the video here, the end of box number four. Here we go, folks. Ready? Swiss Sphere, Sanctuary, Burning Your Face, Aqueduct on Your Face. Here comes the needle. All right, Privileged. Come on, baby. Curl. Sometimes they pick the strangest cards. You might even remember this. I remember I got bought out of this card in Magic Origins. And Mr. K's Command for the Borderless Crazy. Card looks good, though. Not really the... Uh, not really the one we were hoping for in the in the big full Monty slot, but whatever. Yeah, remember in that last slot, folks, you want a mythic. Obviously a textured mythic, but you want a mythic. All right, Thrumming the Stones. I do that on Saturdays. Panaha Monocon. Very nice Kaladesh Aether throwback. Another stone. And our first full Monty Mana Drain foil borderless super version. Okay, so on box five here, we're starting off real strong. Very nice to see. That's what we want to go with. All right, well, we got Unearth. Rudy's Chancery, Spears and the Old Mully. All right, here we go. Und God, really, like, why is this card in here? Nobody says, Rudy, unbow my ogre. Please, I'm begging you, Rudy, unbow. Nobody says that. Oh, ho, ho. I haven't even seen this artwork. Borderless Cavern. That's a nice hit. Ooh. Ooh. Really? Another Thousand Year Storm? I have not. Wow, that etch, dude, she looks epically evil on that etch. Holy cow. That's, I think, I think the fate, <laughs> I think the fate shifter is better than the thousand year. I'm not, it's not sure, especially in etch. All right, here we go, Kozilek. Lightning, again, don't underestimate Kozilek. Lightning Bolt, a turn, don't underestimate these cards long term, folks. The old Nim, like our sixth thousand year storm. Another Forbidden Orch, hey, city of ass. We finally, been waiting all day for a nice piece of ass from the city. Finally, gorgeous. God, they did such a good job in that city. Great job. Who did the artwork on that? Mark? Great job. Wait, is that a Mark Poole? Is that Mark Poole? That is Mark Poole. Great job on that art, man. Holy smokes. Seeker. Mentor. Another duplicate Seeker. Why not? And the Carnival. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Master. Meh. City of Ass making people happy. Everybody loves a nice City of Ass. Smothering Titty. Finally, an etched version of the Smotherings. And another Mr. K's Command. What a weird, what a weird batch of pulls this time. We started this video off on like pack one, hitting the etch. That was so crazy, man. I was hoping we'd get a second etch, man. Pride Mage. That's, I think it's our first Pride Mage all day. I don't know what the deal is, Ed. We haven't gotten any Pride Mage. Hey, Hydroid Crazy. This, like, this is our third, I think, third collector box opening video. First two, we didn't even get any jellyfish. This one, we've gotten two. Our first Concordant Crossroads. That's nice. And tyranny and another dragon lord another dragon lord D? Really? How many dragon lords and commands have we gotten? Like the other videos, we didn't even get one. So weird. This is uh Edward, you've had some very strange pool rates on this video. I don't know what the deal. Maybe we just got lucky. Alright, unearth, here we go. Yeah, 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 Chancery. City of Ass. See, now you've got three giant asses just in this video. And Mr. T's Protection. A Chaos Warp Etched. And a Pithing Needle. That's nice to see. I always like to see a nice Pithing. That looks beautiful. All right, folks. Well, we're down to uh, halfway through box number six out of eight. And we are still churning and burning, folks. Swiss Sphere. Walls. Thousand Faces. Blood Artist on the, on the Saturday. Oh, Imperial Seal making its first appearance of the day. There, there we go. Our first one. Damn! Nation coming in for the first appearance. Another Anger of the Gods. This time in Ash. That was a hot thing for a while. And another City of Ass! Holy hell, Edward! That's four pieces of ass in the one video! Four ass, one Rudy, one Edward! Dang! You got a play set of asses! Okay. Okay. Rampant. Here. Carnival. Another Rampant. Another Boiler Works. And, eh, Harvester Dragon, not really that great. Our first Chaos Warp of the video. Our fifth thousand year storm. Hey, now that's what we like to see. Phyrexian Altar. Now that's a nice hit right there. One of the better, more expensive rares uh, that's non-mythic in that slot. That's what you want to see. Alright, Pride Mage looking cool. Blood Artist looking creepy. Swiss Fear trying to attack you in your sleep. Chamber. Eh, the Leech. I love the art. Not, not a huge... Oh! Force of Negation coming in. She is just stunning. Great piece of art. Who did the art on that? Greg, great job, man. And Dragon Lord S for the old Ash from old Dragon Stark here. Hey, and a Panharmoni. 
beautiful, beautiful Panharmonicon. All right, folks, we're getting towards the end here. What a wild batch of pools. What a strange set of duplicates, mentors, uh, Spell Pierce again, Wall of Rudy's again. Uh, Obnixie coming in for rare number one. Sphinx with the never ending uh, story pause. Okay. And Zombie uh, Sensei's Divining. So a bunch of mid tier cards in that pack. It's so weird how randomly there'll just be a card they put in this thing. You're like, why did they put that in there? Is it just to be a meme or a troll sometimes? Simicky Growth, Eternal Blast, Burning Tree and Beauty, Young Pyro, who's cool. All right, here we go. Zombie Assassin. Eh. Assassin's Trophy. All right, I like that. And the Liege. And oh, well, wow, that's what we're talking about. Force of Negation, Full Monty. Ooh, that is a that is a gorgeous card, man. Well, I was hoping we'd get super lucky. I'm hoping some patron hits two uh, textured cards, but it looks like we are sticking with the one textured card per video. Am I right, everybody? All right, Smothering Titties coming in for number three. Another Anger of the Gods, like the beginning of the video. Another Unbowed. And another Surge... I think we had this exact same layout. Didn't we have that exact same set of cards at the very beginning? I swear, I remember that exact order, too. I have a deja vu. Someone's got to play the video back. All right, here we go, folks. Lightning Bolts. Boros. Cinder. The Shiny Head. Basili. All right, here we go. Eh, Reckoner Angel. Rare One. Grim Flare for the beautiful Richard Kane artwork. Ooh, Planner Bridge. For the Ash, I haven't seen you yet. That is a dark looking card. Doesn't come in good on the camera. And an Assassin's Trophy Full Monty. Not bad. God, those cards look so good. Golly, those things look so beautiful, man. Holy cow. All right, here we go. Aqueduct, Pierce, Pride Mage Lion, Hot Chick, we know. All right, Disciple the Ring. Yeah, we know you're good looking, but that's not really the rare we want. Hey, Jurassic Park number 69 coming in hot. Our third, Rudy the Shepherd in the video. Eh, the Liege. Eh, Sphinx. Eh, pause, never-ending story. Not the greatest. Okay. I think probably what? The uh, Shepherd was probably the best hit of that one. I'm thinking so. All right, here we go, folks. Pride Mage still being prideful. Sanctuary. Uh, circus. Garrison. Ooh, Evil Chick coming in. Very nice. Yeah, that, that, that thing in Etch looked wild, by the way. Another Assassin's Trophy. And, oh my god, we got a glimpse in the back, and Edward has his fifth City of Ass. Five, you have two full Monty borderless foils, an Edge City of Ass, you have so much ass in this video, is adding, I don't think I've ever seen five cities. Five asses lined up in a single video is just dumb. Last pack of the video, I'll give you guys Rudy's closing thoughts. Villainous coming in, ooh, Marchessa, first appearance of the day. Greater Gargadon, yeah. And a seasoned pyro again. We've hit two of those in the video. Folks, final thoughts. Officially, we are officially past the official release day as of, I guess, this morning? Today? Depends when you watch this video. So it might be a day or two past. Uh, typical thing, you see a lot of the new people who have not been in the industry a long period of time, who've never dealt with a lot of Masters products, freaking out, saying, oh my god, the single cards are going down to zero. I don't know what to do. Because every store in the country now is on the timer of paying their distributor that probably ten, twenty, fifty, or hundred thousand dollars that they owe, and uh, they need to pump the product out. It doesn't matter how much they got to lower the price, the race to the bottom. It is it's called the panic to get the capital to pay your bills. So you're going to see the short term pressure that's going to be real aggressive, and then over the next few weeks we're going to level out. But I'm very, very surprised. I am blown away that we are not seeing any downturn in the sealed product of the collector packs. The draft boxes have dropped about, I'd say maybe what, 10% from the highs, not that dramatic. I still can, anything like 10% or less is kind of market noise. Unless it's a 20, 30, 40% swing, you can't really count that much. But the collector boxes, oh my goodness, they are just, just pound me in the face, not moving. So it's very interesting to see what's going on in the market. Hope you're all enjoying it. What a time to be alive. It's a beautiful world out there, folks. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Stay away from the negativity and the bad people. And seriously, put the phone down after you watch a Rudy video. Go enjoy the life in the world. Go outside, seriously. Dig a hole, be a carrot, go yell at some traffic. It's good for you.